Have you heard about the new ApeCoin token? Just created in March 2022, it has risen in popularity throughout the Web3 world. In this video, I'm going to explain why it is not just your average token. I'm Jack, and on Eat the Blocks, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. ApeCoin is already the 11th largest ERC20 token by market cap. These tokens are fungible, so they can be traded one for one and have the same properties as trading Ether. For a token to be ERC20, it needs to have been created by an Ethereum smart contract with code following the ERC20 standard. From a quick inspection of the ApeCoin contract on Etherscan, we can see it follows the standard with no extra implementations. So the question is, what makes ApeCoin different from other ERC20 tokens? Well, ApeCoin is associated with the Board Ape Yacht Club NFT collection, which was created by Yuga Labs. Yuga Labs sold a one out of one NFT, shown here, to a new legal entity called the Ape Foundation, giving them all rights and privileges. This allowed them to create the ApeCoin DAO. The ApeCoin DAO is a decentralized organization that makes decisions for the whole community. DAO members can make proposals for the community on decisions for funding, governance roles, projects, and more. To become a member of the DAO, all you need is one ApeCoin. One coin equals one vote, so the more you have, the bigger say you have in the community. This is just one of the reasons that ApeCoin is valuable. Board Ape NFTs are very expensive, with the current floor being well over 110 Ether. While most can't afford that, the ApeCoin is only valued around 12 USD today. This allows way more people to be able to contribute to the growing Ape community. You won't get all the benefits of owning one of their NFTs, but you can certainly get involved like never before. When you become a member, you are granted exclusive access to future games, merchandise, events, and services created by the ApeCoin community. Benji Bananas is the first game to become a part of the Ape ecosystem. Users can play the game to earn Benji Banana tokens, which can later be swapped for ApeCoins. The ApeCoin DAO is overseen by its board members. There are currently five board members who are elected by the Ape Foundation. Every year, new elections will be ran by the entire community. Now, I'm not acting like ApeCoin is perfect. The biggest disadvantage I see is how centralized it is. This is the distribution of ApeCoins shown on their website. The left looks good. However, what really matters is the numbers on the right. Here is a chart showing the distribution based on the groups from the right side of their website. There are three main centralized groups here, Yuga Labs, their founders, and the VCs. Let's group all of these together. Let's also remove the DAO treasury, as that is controlled by the voting system, not part of it. I believe this is a far better representation of the voting power for the Ape DAO. 60% of all Ape coins are controlled by the main centralized parties. They could easily vote together to overrule any community decisions. The hope is that over time these coins will be sold and the Ape DAO will become more decentralized. If you decide you want to get involved with ApeCoin, you can purchase your own coins on any of the big exchanges. So there's your quick intro into ApeCoin. It's a very interesting project and I'm excited to see where it goes. Let me know what your thoughts are on the project down below. And if you want to learn how to make your own ERC20 token just like ApeCoin, then be sure to check this video out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.